Okay, now we're going to talk about the elevator ribs uh, for the Z4. So I'm taking this from the Z21, which is what the plan says to keep going looking from the other ones for more detail info. So this is the elevator, uh, and it does specify that it's the it's not an exact it's not exact um, it's just a reference. So what I did is uh, I wanted to make this. Uh, assembled with some small pieces but I guess I didn't really have the dimension in between of the small sticks so I'm just going to go with this plan so this calls for full full uh, spruce wood uh, with the holes there for the lightning so this is a side view and uh, of what should be a straight run a natural curve and another straight run that goes to whatever the end of this is. Uh, so I transferred these dimensions on the plan. So it says from the beginning of the spar to the first start of, which is uh, straight. So I've put some lines here, straight, same thing here. And all of this is so I could get the exact dimension of those which are the ribs for the elevator. So I drew this line parallel to the three and, three and a quarter. And then we have another five and a half here for the other point, which is where it's beginning to be straight from here till the trailing edge. And in between is what Lynn calls a natural curve. So taken from uh, this dimension here, this was, I believe, one inch. Um, so, so that's what I came up with here. So I've called this A dash. This one is A because it's the same length minus the thickness here of the doubler on the elevator's bar. So I believe the A is going to be the same as A. It's going to be the same as A dash minus the small thickness here uh, then I got B here and B here which are the same and then from this drawing I can see what the dimension is I think they're taking the longest the longest dimension from here till here and then from here to here it gives me di different dimensions which I've translated translated here. So here we have B. So from the the apogee here, which is where it connects to my spar, longest dimension till where it connects to the end of the straight gives me two and a half, and then eight and a half for the next one, and then this this we know it's a quarter inch. So then uh, and this we know it's a one and a quarter. So I've redrawn all of this. Yeah, I've marked them here. Make sure I don't uh, screw up. So we have a dash a again minus the small for the space the doubler and b and b and c is uh, very easy it's just straight taper if we relate to this but uh, and I'm thinking that we don't really know what the thickness here is because it's going to be a small interface between quarter inch to three uh, boy what is it. till yeah qu three quarter inch here yeah exactly so this is three quarter inch which we have here so it's three quarter inch and then it needs to go to a quarter inch so here is I have no clue what it is so I'll be doing uh, a straight three quarter all the way here and then blending this for a smooth finish and then so which implies that I'll make this guy full a full rectangle just glue it up here and then I'll just, uh, once this is done, I'll put a small line on it and cut it straight as it stayed here from whatever that dimension is till my one inch and a quarter here. Okay, uh, I guess we can't see much, but so it's all here. So I've drawn this all up. Uh, let me see something, yeah. We have A dash and A. So dimension of A. So it's, these are just transferring of the dimensions I took from my uh, the plan 
Uh, these are where the holes will be at 5 8 those will be half inch and um, I believe I'll make this, I'll cut this all up I'll glue this to a masonite so I can make uh, so I can use it as a as a template, maybe just cardboard so I can mark it on the piece of wood and then I'll stay shy of it, probably a, a 16 over and that will I'll leave that so I can interface with a big uh, sanding block when it's all assembled. Yeah, I guess it's 16 more. Uh, this, I'm going to save this. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this all up beforehand, pretty close to where I need it, the 16. But I'll save this piece here. I'll cut it square. And this will be uh, so that this could rest on the table at the surface zero. So this will stay stable. And then, uh, and then I can center this center of this guy to my trailing edge piece. Uh, so this is again A, and I've tra I've removed. So this is the the piece of wood removed from the uh, A dash, which is the reinforcement of the elevator. And this one specifies uh, no, actually I specify no holes because uh, I'm not sure where the heck we can put holes here. Uh, same thing. We're gonna save this. This is a C. I'm gonna leave it straight. Just gonna keep it square for now. And then this is B, same thing, just transferred my lines, and then uh, that's it. Right now I've glued some um, plywood uh, plates on the spar of the uh, elevator and of the, um, the stabilizer for where the inch, the eye bolts will be. And uh, on the rudder, I forgot to do this before. Uh, so now I'm doing it now so I can drill these holes uh, precisely and uh, also on a drill press because it was a drag to drill them on the um, it was a drag to drill them uh, in the air with jigs and, and whatnot so make sure you drill these holes before assembling okay now I've uh, I've installed a straight edge on my line that I drew for my elevator, be the same for the stab, and clamped it perfectly straight on my line. Then I'm going to use a straight edge as a blocker to install these blocks with just an ordinary staple like this. I think I'm going to put some hot glue also in the back to stabilize it, make sure that it's extremely uh, solid. Because of the, the rotating clamp, uh, it, I think it needs a lot of uh, uh, of strength. Uh, also maybe just uh, some clamps going like this so try and keep the tension low. Uh, I stay shy of the inch uh, center lines points so uh, yeah that's it. And then a smaller straight edge to install all the holders for the uh, each of the ribs so they'll be clamped here. Okay, now I'm uh, using the sliding table to uh, just flatten these and make them perfectly perpendicular. I'll make sure to remove the, the fuzz after. And then I'll put these into with a block here to make sure that they're all the same length. And that will be the same for this, the full solid one. 